bulls that are from those deep cow families, but they also got to produce. Longevity, I think, is the main uh, feature of their uh, of their program. Breed a lot for type, no doubt about it. We like to have, uh, for sure, double digit numbers across the board if we can. Uh, if you're looking for, uh, for type production, the overall package, uh, I believe Foundation is your answer. Yvonne Crater and William Schultz of Plymouth, Wisconsin. Second in the class, Seamers Alicia Gold Ava, exhibited by Crystal Seamers Peterman of Cleveland, Wisconsin. And your winning entry, as well as first bred known and best daughter, Arethusa Gold Valencia, exhibited by Arethusa Farm of Litchfield, Connecticut. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Ladies and gentlemen, a real nice uh, winner here in the top this class. So, uh, Kyle, you really got to admire for her style and balance when you see her out. She's a Kyle that's very feminine and stylish all the way through an angler. But it comes down to that mammary system. Uh, what a beautiful honor. She is a, by far the best hunter Kyle in the class. And she's just got a network of veins. Looks like a lightning storm going across her udder. Just veins all over. But it's nice and snug. It's full. And she has advantage over the cow in second, just being a little nicer shape to the other, a little nicer to teeth structure, they're underneath her a little bit nicer, they're a, a, a more proper size and shape to them, and just so much more angular in a frame. I think when you see her from the frame, she's a little bit more open, a little bit deeper in that chest floor, a little bit more power to the front end than the cow in second. The cow in second over the cow in third, just on that mammary system here today, the cow in second is developed a little bit longer, she's a little leader in that uh, four other developments, a little longer and fuller. Maybe a little leveler at the floor of the other than the cow in the third. The cow in third is just recently fresh. And I moved her up, keep moving her up. You see, like, love the style from the side. And she, to me, she's a little bit more uh, youthful in her modern udder here today. It's just uh, showed me a little bit more quality in that rear udder department, a little nicer seam. Um, also a little bit more blend to the front end and this big powerful cow in fourth. Fourth over fifth just size and scale. We got more, more cow here, more openness to rim also a little bit dairier throughout, a little bit more variation to get on the other and a little bit nicer in the four other development than the cow in fifth. Fifth over six, just style when you see her out. Just uh, the white cow was a little prettier over the top line, a little harder through that loin region. It would be a little, maybe a little bit more angular cut and a little bit more feminine up to the head and neck than another big powerful cow in fifth. Uh, six, six over seven, just uh, quality memory system here today. We're showing more seam up through that. We're at our attachment, showing a little bit more quality and silkness of that. Other. Congratulations.